hello and hello. I'm trying out a two camera setup today because why not? For those of you that don't know me, I'm Nick from Technovo and today I'm looking at a new pair of Bluetooth headphones from Orange Amps. But before that, please show some support for the channel, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up at the end if you have enjoyed it. Okay, let's have a look at these headphones. Orange Amps. It's been several years since I last saw the brand, back in a time where Steph and myself used to play in a band together. Their guitar amps were amazing, and I know they're still very popular now. So why branch out into headphones? Perhaps they are using some of their audio finesse they've crafted into a small form factor, trying to reach new audiences that may not be aware of them. First impressions of these headphones are very good. They're compact, they offer thick, spongy padding to each ear cup and headband, and there is a good amount of flex and adjustment too. The headphones are made from plastic, but you can see part of the headband is partially made from metal. The overall design is very much on point with Orange's typical branding, matte black for the majority with some subtle orange branding and highlights of the color orange in various places. I really like the matte black finish, but just from holding it for the first time, fingerprints are everywhere. The headphones come complete with a small hard case, which is perfectly adequate for storing your headphones, albeit it is a very snug fit. You also get a micro USB cable for charging and a 3.5 millimeter uh, aux lead for wired connections. If you've read any of my recent reviews, you'll know I've been spoiled for choice recently with some quality headphones. With that in mind, I have to remember that these come in at less than 100 pounds here in the UK. Half the price of some of the others I've been trying recently, so I need to limit my expectations. That being said, I was pleasantly surprised with what I heard. Orange State, they were looking for a studio level experience with these headphones, which will be tough at this price point, but I feel they have achieved this a little bit. Putting on some classic rock, I'm hearing hi-hats to my left, a crash cymbal to my right, and bass drum straight down the center. You have to turn the volume up for these to really come to life, and I'm okay with that. I'm not talking that loud, circa 60% volume, and things begin to heat up. There is a track by Point North uh, that pans left, right, and back. It's subtle, but the effect sounds very, very good with these headphones. My only issue is at the lower volumes, the sound becomes a little bit muddied. There is no active noise cancellation with these, but they do a fairly good job at blocking out external sounds anyway, thanks to those thick padded cushions. Speaking of cushions, these are comfortable to wear, be it for 30 minutes or something like two hours, which I think was my longest stint with them. They are fairly secure as the headband remains at the set size, but not secure enough to be used during heavier exercising um, wouldn't be good for um, an intense jog. These are touch sensitive headphones, meaning you do just that to play pulls um, and change the tracks. To the right ear cup is the touchpad. Touch once for play pulls, swipe up or down for volume control, and then swipe left or right for track control. The touch control is actually pretty responsive um, with a wide area to touch. There is a small delay in control, just a second or two from touching the ear cup to the action actually happening, which is acceptable for me and I didn't see it as a problem. Take the headphones off, the content continues to play. It won't pause um, the content like some of the newer headphones do. It will take some getting used to, to use the controls and also removing the headphones, remembering to take them off without touching the right ear cup. Orange stay a battery life of around 27 hours, which is impressive, and after several hours of use, the battery doesn't appear to have decreased all that much, so 27 hours seems very possible. I like the Crest Edition headphones, I have a lot of time for them. I like the way they look, the touch controls actually work well, they offer a good battery life, and they sound good too. They're not perfect, and I've heard better, but they also don't cost a small fortune. That is a wrap on this video. If you've stuck around to watch the entire thing, thank you and make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our latest tech and gaming videos.